monetization. Okay, yeah. Um, and we need to share it on the Facebook groups. Let me see. Daddy go, daddy go, daddy go. Daddy go, daddy go. Let's see who got that iPhone 15 this week. Let's see who got that iPhone 15 this week. Okay. Check, check. Y'all hear us? I think that audio. What's going on? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. See ya, see ya. Ty, NAQ, Terrence, Tarek, Giovanni, Jaquan. What up, what up, what up, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook? Who else? Where else we at? We on oh oh Twitter too. I never I haven't seen the Twitter. Uh. Oh wow, you're on everything. <laughs> we, oh my we, god, we on everything, bro. We we about to teach these people how to get this money, man. They gotta have ambition though. They gotta have ambition, dedication, uh, endurance. That's the key word, endurance, Ivy. Yeah, that's a good they, one. They, a lot of them don't have that endurance. They, if it don't happen in a couple of yeah, weeks. They, if it don't happen in a couple of weeks, they 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 kind of tap out. Yeah, definitely don't do that. Loving it like I just started. Yeah, it is kind of like the business of it though. It gets people frustrated. So, yeah, I wait. I let y'all come in. So, uh, just to let y'all know, we are live streaming as well on YouTube, Facebook, uh. Twitch and Twitter. So if you might want to tell your family, friends, they can check you out. <laughs> uh, we'll give it a minute. Uh, welcome, welcome everybody on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter. I haven't seen my Twitter live stream. Um, let me see. Fuck, I can't look at this on that phone. I'm going to have to get this phone connected to... How are everybody doing tonight? Good. Really good. Good. That's good. That's good. I wonder if I can control that volume over there. What up? What up? What up? Oh, I can't control that volume on there. You have it through there until the computer. Real good. Computer. Yeah. I mean, it's through the monitor over yeah, there. Switch that though. Uh huh. Good to see everybody. We about to, man, we about to motivate y'all, man. I didn't see, uh, you know, I was kind of disappointed this week. Wasn't a lot of videos from, except from the same people. What, four? Caleb, NAQ, Ty, uh, oh, and our boy, Eric. Giovanni Ooh. sent a couple. Um, there we go. Fixed it. Oh, nice. Who else? So the people that just got an iPhone, can you put your name for me? The nameless people so I know who you are so I can. Yep. Who's that? It's Christian. Yeah, can you put your name for us so everybody know who everybody is? Let me see. Welcome, welcome, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter. About to uh, have our master class, which we do every, usually Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard. 
but we had it today because I have to uh, take my kids somewhere tomorrow. So uh, this is our 20th week of giving class. Oh yeah, number 20. So this we've been doing this uh, program five months, and bro, it feel like we just started yesterday, to be honest. Uh, because, you know, when you start a program of this nature, uh, you have to give you all, it, it's a 24 hour thing. Um, you know, guys sending me videos all times of night, all times of day, the morning. And so me, I'm sharing them personally, you know what I mean? And as well as I'm out sharing everybody four videos minimum a day myself. And filming and working out and twins and I got a, a Spanish channel, an India channel. Uh, I got my now I got my kids channel. I just started back my family channel. So I got over uh, four channels I'm managing myself and pumping out four videos, kids videos, and I'm pumping out y'all videos. And this month he don't stop editing. Like it's a 24 hour shindig and we love it <laughs> and i go and so i i like to work so much i started doing uh, a lot of y'all probably see uh story promos and that been blowing up so i'm on i never thought i'd be this busy in my life never thought it was possible and it, it's just so gratifying to be able to help people uh scale their businesses their brands their social medias um, and you know, you guys with your social media, you can scale it a lot more, a lot faster. It's just about, and I'm gonna get to the nitty gritty. All social media is, is talking. That's it. I did, we did videos where I'm killing myself, bro. Working out, whatever. I'm killing myself. We did a thing with the army. I'm crawling and i'm talking about exhausted right and guess what them videos wouldn't do half as good as me doing a video right here talking to this camera in the office it's all about talking when you look at top pastors top motivational speakers uh tony robbins eric thomas uh grant card all they doing is yapping bro that's all they doing so the number one thing y'all have to narrow down, if you got to study linguistics, if you haven't read the dictionary totally, if you're not tapping in with the daily news, I remember uh, I was in prison and uh, I was a cellmate with a pimp. And uh, I mean, this motherfucker wouldn't stop. I, I loved it because it was like I was, he would tell me a movie every day, all day. He just yapping, right? And he said, uh, he said the number one rule, you need to read the newspaper every day. And so our newspaper now is Yahoo News, uh, social media. He said, because if you go anywhere in life, say me, I, me and him, we don't like sports. But guess what? We know about it. We can talk. Like, oh, oh, yeah, Shay Shay, uh, we can talk it. We don't watch it, though. But it's, you got to be well-rounded with everything. And that's what I love about comedians, bro. And I am one myself. I just haven't got on, you know, the stage yet. But um, you got to be well-versed in everything. And so I'm saying that to say... Uh, Content as a content creator, you got to be well rounded. You know, that's the reason Kali Muscle was able to uh, last. That's why I was able to last because I didn't just, I was stuck in that. I started off with fitness, but I just felt like it just kept me in the bubble. You know, I, I wasn't able to grow. And I'm a weirdo, Aquarius, and just, uh, I, th I used to think I was an introvert, but I, evidently I ain't. I'm an extrovert because I love learning. As an introvert, you you kind of restrict yourself from learning. So I'm, I'm definitely not that. Uh, I love learning. I love trying new things. So...
it started not progress. The money wasn't increasing. So I looked at what's the next top thing. And I seen gaming. Bro, I didn't game for 25 years. I went to, I stopped gaming my 10th grade in high school. You talking about 1991. Because then I was just working football, wrestling, track, sports. I didn't have time to game. So in 1991, I stopped gaming. I didn't start back gaming until 2000, what was that, 14? Yeah, it was 14. So y'all add up how many years that is. And the reason being, I saw gaming was hot. So me and this man went to Best Buy and bought my whole setup. I didn't know nothing about gaming, but I said, I'm about to be one of the top gamers. Oh, I don't care if I'm old, whatever. I was about... Probably 40 years old or something. Yeah. And I got into gaming and four years straight, I streamed every day. I streamed for about four to six hours a day and I played and practiced the other 12, 13 hours a day. Just, bro, ambitious. And then from that, when that started dipping, I wasn't progressing in that. We got into the cars. No, we started back... With the fitness, but doing skits, pranks. I got made up as the old man. Um, you know, I, I've just... Yeah, I got uh, pranks and it was COVID was going on. So we was getting in a lot of trouble just out in public getting viral videos. And bam, then we got in the car game. That just blew up our shit just... I'm talking a whole nother level with the lifestyle content uh, and the cars. Then from that, I started... Do- while we was doing that, I started doing mukbangs. I'm an I'm and I look back, I'm initially the first mukbanger, but I didn't realize it when I did the prison cell cooking thing. I was like one of the first person to ever do that. And I didn't even it wasn't a name attached to it, like mukbang or whatever. So bam, we decided to start back doing those. Cause I, we probably seen somebody on social media popping off with it. So we like shit, let's let's try that. We did it, it popped off. So I'm saying all this to say, you got to have a wide range. Uh, Being niched down is cool, but if that niche burns out, you're in trouble because you haven't broadened your perspective. You haven't gotten range. So that's why I was able to last and still lasting because I pivot. You know what I mean? Um, Yeah. And, and just, just a little point, too. So you guys need to be on all the networks, too. Yeah. That's why it's important because Kylie will make a video for YouTube and it won't hit, right? But then here we are. We've already He's already got a following on all the networks, so we just disseminate that video on all the networks then. And then we'll put it on Facebook, TikTok, and you, uh, Twitter, any of the networks, and it'll just hit. It'll work. Like the content will be formatted correctly for the network and it'll work. So you, you, if you just do one network, then you're like really limiting yourself. So you guys need to not only make the good content, but also format it and place it correctly. And then, you know, like I keep telling y'all, like, you know, we got some new people that's in the program, uh, today a lot, actually welcome everybody that joined this week, um, became a member of the tribe. Y'all content, bro. <laughs> it's just not nobody like to talk, man. Ninety percent of people in the program don't nobody care about you working out and playing music. It just I don't know where y'all get that from. I I just don't know. Kali Muscle didn't do it. C.T. Fletcher didn't do it. Bradley Martin ain't do it. Larry Wills ain't do it. Where do, Sam Sulik ain't doing it. Where do y'all get that from? Like, I don't know. It just, nobody that's successful in life, that's wealthy, do not talk. Everybody talk, bro. Like, Y'all, don't nobody care about you squatting, benching, curling, and just being honest, none of y'all jacked. So why would somebody care? Y'all don't even have a discipline to diet down and get shredded and 
if you're going to do it, either be stupid shredded or stupid swole. Are you wasting your time, bro? I'm just being honest. It don't take nothing but 10 days to get dumb shredded. All you got to do is, hey, look at my, go on some fruit. Get stupid shredded. Y'all got to be doing some, bro, I got popular because I was dumb swole doing muscle ups, talking shit. Dumb shredded could back it up. Hitting dumb weights, over 500 pounds benching, muscle ups, curling 300 pounds. And they, nobody on in this pro doing no feats. Y'all not doing nothing that's viral. You just, it's like y'all doing robotic shit. Just everybody doing the same shit. Let me put some music on it and uh, 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 and ain't ripped, ain't peeled. You don't even have the balls or the audacity to be shirtless. When you working out, nobody care, bro. You ain't showing no, that's like, nigga, why you think all these bras shaking ass, getting all the views? They showing some skin. They showing something, that, same with men. If y'all ain't showing nothing, don't nobody care, bro. That's why you ain't growing. You ain't talking. You ain't showing no muscle, no skin. You ain't dressing nice. Your hair ain't cut nice. Y'all ain't even taking care of yourself. You ain't looking nice. You know what I mean? Like, why would somebody care? I was dumb swole wearing Gucci and Versace and shades at the fucking gym. And, like, y'all ain't doing nothing viral, bro. You got to do something viral. And that don't mean you have to be no ass or do no dumb shit. It's just at least... Shit trim, beard. Bro, this is entertainment. I, even education... It's still entertainment. Like my favorite person I watched every day is Myron Golden. Golden. He's a mentor, motivational, suited up, booted up, trimmed up, everything, bro. You just not about to pop on the internet just thinking you just about to pop on here. Is this shit is a billion dollar industry that you're competing with. Y'all don't even have the balls to go get an iPhone 15 Pro. And you think you go compete with us and everybody else that's the quality is like you could touch them? When you look at our shit now, it's like you could touch me. And you think you about to come here with a Samsung Android uh, and when you upload the video, it's only at 360, 480p. Me and this nigga, we in like 8K. And you think, bro, I'm telling y'all, bro, if you're not going to elevate and take this information, I'll just tell you to quit. Just not cutting no, it's just simple as that because you're going to be wasting your time, spinning your wheel, getting frustrated, telling us the program ain't doing nothing for you and you ain't producing no good quality content. This is our 20th week and we you know, and I'm not the new people. I don't want y'all to feel no type of way because y'all just learning. But this, I'm speaking more so with the people that have been in the program. I just haven't seen no progress. Man, I've seen progress. Caleb, Caleb listening. Ty, he got some good content, but he need to, of course, uh, loosen up still. But all the new guys. I just got, I just uh, reposted about 20 videos in the last couple of hours. All of them shitty, bro. If I showed them to y'all, it just, everybody just with music on it. They ain't showing no muscle, just in regular shirt, regular clothes, just pumping, squatting like somebody supposed to care. They don't care. You You ain't gave no inspirational talk you ain't said nothing it just why was it's no value that's so that's what the internet is i'm, I'm gonna tell y'all the secret of the internet how to blow up and this would really took me to the next level i started doing giveaways i started giving value i started going to the homeless the filming that people oh why you gotta film it because i gotta show that i'm doing this motherfucker to motivate other people to do it you got to show your good acts, not just your bad. I want to show my good, <laughs> what I'm doing. So you got to start doing giveaways. 
You got to start interacting. You got to start doing live streams. You got to start. Because it's like all of y'all from where I come from, it's like y'all hiding from something. That's how I feel about 90% of people in the program. It's like y'all trying to, like, I want to make money online, but I got something in my past I'm hiding from. I don't know about none of y'all, bro. Ain't nobody did a welcome to my video except Ty. And, you know, I ain't talked to the old schoolers. I know about about four or five of you. But ain't nobody did a, wel a real welcome to my channel video. I come from St. Louis. Nigga, uh, I was an alcoholic. I was a dope head, nigga. I went to the pen. Uh, now I'm clean. And I'm ready to get this money online. I want y'all to subscribe and follow me. I'm going to take you on this journey with me. I ain't seen none of that. Everybody's scared, bro. That's how Kali Muscle blew up. I told my whole fucking life, and I was scared to do it. But I did it, and I'm like, wow. That was got me popular telling my life story, which I was scared to do. And now everybody can uh, relate. It's like everybody, everybody's hiding something to me, bro. Like, I don't know. But today, we going to give y'all, we going to show y'all a way to make money. Starting off on scratch, like, don't worry about having big numbers, none of that. So what I did this week, I tested something that I was against. TikTok shop. Um, we went to, uh, me and Hyphy, we started seeing a uh, craze about TikTok shop, whatever. So quick story of me and TikTok. I hated TikTok. I did videos that they should ban it all, everything, four or five, about four years ago. And I hated TikTok. And, uh, what happened was a guy started a TikTok, uh, as an imposter of me. So this motherfucking TikTok got up to like about 2 million followers. So Hyphy contacted them first. They fell out. <laughs> and then I contacted them and was like, hey, why are you ripping our videos? Because, bro, our shit, to do our videos, it costs. It's, it was a lot, right, per video. And uh, so we was upset. So I contacted him. He said, oh, my God, Kali Muscle, he's from Russia. I started this in hopes you would buy it. So I'm like, how much you want, bro? He like, uh, give me 2,500. I like, nah, I give you two grand. So I bought my TikTok from him for two grand. And at that point it had like 2 million. And, uh, I kept, I kept him on a payroll doing the videos. And, uh, so that's how I got my TikTok. That's got 7.2 million. And so I still hated it, bro. It just, we would drive cars. We'd do a video driving cars. They would uh, take the video down, copy, all type of weird shit, right? So even to this day, I don't love it, right? But I utilize it. So what happened was recently, uh, Hyphy was like, well, we did, what happened was it's based in Russia because dude, IP at Do live streams and get pennies on it or whatever, but uh, just what last month or so, uh, Hyphy was like, "Man, you need to start another one and get ten thousand followers and monetize." And me being me, I'm like, "Nigga, what? Start from scratch? <laughs> I got millions!" And he just convinced me to do it, so I did it, and I got monetized in like a week, maybe a little longer, maybe two weeks or something like that. Um, so now it's monetized. I'm getting ad revenue, right? So bam, I started seeing this TikTok shop shit. It's Motherfuckers TikTok. talking about they making hundreds of thousands of dollars per month selling items. I'm an opportunist, man. I'm like, let me dive in and see what's going on. So I did my first video yesterday on these tripods I got. Oh man, this Dumb hits. A lot of people not buying, but I mean, it's I'm making money as from yesterday to today. Uh, so you, the criteria to get on TikTok shop, 
It's like people with a hundred, like a hundred followers and stuff like that. It's a that. lower barrier to entry. Yeah, so you don't need a ton of followers. You only need a hundred, few hundred followers, whatever. To uh, yeah, let's see, to be a uh, seller yeah. on TikTok shop, and so that's a good play for all of y'all. Um, to get uh, whatever the criteria is, we about to find out now. And you can start making instant money. Like, whatever products you got. Like, say, for instance, I got this in my house. Like, they got all these on there. I can sell it. They, like, I was doing, let me show y'all, the tripods we've been telling y'all to get. They got these on there. If you go to my TikTok, you go see I'm selling these now. Like, and I'm just testing it so I can bring the information to you guys. So, you know, you just don't be on social media like, man, I'm waiting to get monetized in this taking a long time and you know uh so that's a method that we uh me and miles we started to you know uh bring you guys information so if you need extra money um you can make it you know what i mean um so it's a great uh possible source of income so let me show you guys i wish i could have put it up on the computer actually but will I be able to die? I won't be able to die in, dive in my analytics. You need at least 1,000 followers. Oh, you need 1,000? you got to be 18. Okay. That's it. And that's nothing. We can get yeah, you 1,000 yeah, in a week. Super easy to get, guys. Well, yeah. And you guys can request the products. Like, it takes seven days. So you can, yeah, we'll show you. But you go in, find a product you like, and then you can request it, and they'll send it to you, to your address, because it'll all be in the app. So, yeah, I wish I could have did it on the computer, huh? Yeah, but you know. Yeah. You know. So, here we go. This is my TikTok, the one with 28,000. So, you go here to the showcase, and you see I'm selling these two products. So, how to really get sales is to do a video or do a live stream of that product. So, I get, I think it's $2 or something per... Let's see. So each product sold, I get two eighty five, but they got other products where you get four, five, six bucks. This one, let's see, you get four fifty each one sold. I don't know if anyone sold or that yet. Uh, so you go up here to analytics, creator tools, and so you go to creator. So I'm gonna show you how much I made so far on TikTok this week. So 618, 618 bucks this week on. Yeah, and this is an account that doesn't have millions of followers. Yeah. So once you guys get monetized, like you could have 10,000 followers and be cranking. It's just about the content you make. Um, where the shot? Oh, here it so is. So don't think you need a million followers. Exactly. Yeah. So this is how much I sold today of products, and that's the commission I make. $39, which is good for just sitting up there and not. Ten minutes. If no, that. no, it took it took literally less than two minutes to shoot it. Oh, yeah. He was just sitting in a chair talking. You can show him the video. Yeah. The things don't got to be complicated either. All right. Here go the video. What's up with it, guys? I'm Kali Muscle. I've been creating content for over 20 years. That's right. You heard it right. I'm the OG of YouTube, been on this 16 years since 2008, right? And I always, uh, you know, at times had to film myself. And so I would have these big clunky tripods and it just was awkward. I couldn't fit it in backpacks and yada, 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 right? And so about a year ago, I came across these right here, Yukos tripods. And I was like, oh my God, why this haven't been out? Well, I haven't been seeing this. And so it has so many capabilities. I know I'm flexing a little bit, y'all. I guess I got three. <laughs> you know, I actually got one more, too. But um, so it has, as you see, a white one, black one, and I believe a gray one, another color. Uh, this is my favorite one, though, the white one. Um, so, yeah, it has many capabilities. If you want to bring it selfie mode, you can film yourself like this. If you want to film yourself up, you can set it down. Let me show you this method right here. So you can set it down, and it's 62 inches. So it goes uh, tall, man. So you figure I'm about five. So y'all get the idea. 
pushing. <laughs> so yeah, so that's all you got to do is get a product and um, get a product and do that. And they got, bro, damn near everything on Amazon is on that shop. So it is, it's real simple, man. So uh, let me let me take this. Let's pull up YouTube. Yeah. Because I always want to uh, get everybody acclimated to YouTube. Because that's, that's the, bro, that's the holy grail, man. If you guys ain't focused on YouTube, it's like you just really wasting your time. Because you never know. All these other platforms, you don't know when it's going to be over with, man. You know, so YouTube is like, knock on wood, for me and YouTube, I haven't had but maybe one issue in the 16 years I've been on there. Maybe a couple, but they minor. But right now, it's real uh, vanilla. So you do have to really uh, be careful what you say and do. Um, that's like yesterday I did a live and they uh, limited monetization it. So uh, say we go to customize. I know a lot of the OGs on here have been in here, but I want to show the other people. So your channel trailer should be your welcome to my channel video. They have a feature video as well, but I took mine off. If you like the for you, you could do that. That's another... Uh, other look on your page that I don't like it because it looked cluttered. So I have my uh, playlist, new uploads, which you name you, you can name this yourself. You go to popular. I got my popular videos as viral, and that's how I got it set up. Oh, let me show you guys. Let's go to basic info. So you put a description you want up the t at the top, and you come here and put all the links to your social medias. And they'll pop up up top. You got to have this email where you can be contacted at. Then you come to settings. If y'all need to, take out a notepad. notepad. Make sure your uh, whatever country you're in, America, Canada, whatever, that your currency is set up right there. Then we come over here to channel, basic info, whatever country you're in. That's a must to be there. Keywords of your channel. Have it right here. Then you um, feature eligibility. I don't mess with that. Upload defaults. Another one. So this is where you want all your socials as well, your social media, because this area right here is when you upload a video, this will automatically attach to that video. So you want this in here, and you want your tags, and you put unlisted so when you upload, it don't go public. So you want all your tags here, or whatever come to mind that your channel is about. Then you go to advanced settings, mine education. So you want to put a category. My category is education. I had it in, I had it in entertainment, which a billion people on there. So then I went to autos which we did real well on, but since I started coaching and being more of a mentor, I switched it to education. You want your video language. This channel is uh, English, but I have a Spanish channel, which it says Spanish right here. So, and then monetization. When you get monetized, you wanna click this, place ads during video. Permissions, if you need somebody as a manager or help you run your channel, you'll put them right here. Community, uh, I got NAQ as a moderator. Other moderators, when I go live or whatever, they can come in and, you know, make sure uh, people not causing a ruckus. So that's that. I know I'm talking fast, moving fast, but y'all got to keep up. So this is your analytics here. You can see uh, the money you made, how many views. And you get this stuff get real technical. I mean, you know, the numbers to me never really meant that much because it's all on YouTube. If they want to share your video or, you know, promote it or put it in the algorithm, 
but it's just uh, it's just something to know. You know what I mean? Like, what time of day should you post? Uh, what's the demographic? Like, let's see audience. Let's go to my audience. And let's go down here. It shows you what time of day is best when your viewers are on YouTube right here. Show you what, so the light is the uh, most time they own there. Um, they show you what your audience watch. They show you the other content creators they watching. Um, then the formats of videos they watching as well. So it, it's in bro, like you gotta be smart. You know what I mean? This shit is uh, it gets technical. So we see most of my viewers are America, United States, then India, then Russia, Brazil, and United Kingdom. I got, ooh, females going up. I used to have like 3% females. Now it's up to 15%. Female, 83% male. This is the good part. This stats mean a lot right here. So we got 4%, 13, and 17. 26%, 18 years old to 24 years old. 30%, 25 to 34, which is the most for me. And 23%, 35 to 44. And I got some super OGs down here. 65 plus, 1%. <laughs> uh, 55 years old, 3.4. So, yeah. So, you go up in there and it tells you a lot. Um, let's see. I think that's it on that. Facebook, another monster, man. Uh, we, till this day, we get the most revenue from Facebook. It's a must y'all do this, man. Don't, so, a lot of you guys, I noticed, you got some type of dislike for, cer for certain social media platforms. I don't like this one. I don't like that one. I don't like this one. What that tells me is you don't like money. Because why wouldn't you give yourself all the opportunities in the world to make money? You might blow up on any one of these platforms. And so that's what I'm trying to get you guys with the mindset of. Even me, I had to do it. I didn't like Snapchat. I didn't like TikTok. But I'm like, shit, let me, uh, you know, give myself a better opportunity. Because all these networks funnel into one another. That's like my, I remember when we was, when that TikTok channel blew up, we got a shit ton of new subscribers from TikTok and they would put in the comments, I'm from TikTok, I came from TikTok. So you, this is a, this, all this social media shit, this ecosystem is a funnel. Each one funnels through the other one. So that's why it's crucial to have all your links the same, your banners the same, your name the same on everything, you know, it's crucial, bro. And that's called being a brand. Everybody banner should be looking like mine. It ain't, bro, it's only 40 bucks for this banner. Everybody should have a banner look just like this or better. It's no reason nobody not to. I mean, you know, if y'all like working for uh, Mr. Sam, and you know what I mean? You just plan on working for him until he fire you and don't want to set yourself up for the future and leave a legacy for you and your family, then hey, uh, I don't understand. <laughs> but do your thing because I think everybody in this program want to blow up. So I'm giving y'all all the tools to blow up. Like it's no reason for nobody like, I look at some of the OGs been up in here and I'm like, they... That you ain't blowing up, you don't listen. And ain't nobody too busy to handle business. I don't give a damn if you got it, bro. All the greats stay up for days and weeks to handle, get shit done. You got something you want to say? Mm. I mean, yeah, I said it, I said it a few weeks ago, but this this is your guys' brand, man. Like, there's a lot of ways to make money with the social media, too. Like, everybody's hyper-focused on, you know, getting monetized through ad revenue. And 
I mean, go buy Expert Secrets, the book, and learn how, like, learn how a funnel works. Because, like, I'm thinking about, you know, I, I was uh, saying how important it is to do long-form videos. So I started doing long-form videos. I do one a week. You know, that's about all I can do right now. But I'm getting them done, and they're dope. And it's to help guys like you. You know what I mean? If you want to, if you want to get into making films, I'll tell you what I do, what I'm an expert at. And that's, I like making that kind of content. I just make the content that I like. And I feel like people, uh, need to hear about from my perspective because the leader is the guy that's going to talk like the guy that the guy that's talking may not be right, but he's got his mouth open and then people are listening. So you don't have to be right. You, you just got to talk. And so Basically, what you're going to do is you're just using, if you if you change your perspective of how the social media is, like, I don't need to get paid right away. There's a lot of ways to get paid. You So, Callie's saying TikTok shop. So, that's... Selling a product. I do Amazon affiliate marketing. So, I have uh, links to products on my... I made an Amazon store. I can show you guys that, but... But that that just brings a little bit of money in and it just adds up over time, you know, and it's about, you know, they say like what the rich people do, they like diversify their income. So you're using social media to diversify your income. There's ad revenue, there's affiliate, affiliate marketing, there's funnel systems, there's making products, there's selling shit on TikTok shop. And that's just five things off the top of my head. You could then do coaching for people, which could be underneath funnels and then you got all the networks that monetize. So that's like five or six networks. So you can have like five different streams of income. So just because YouTube's doing shitty this month doesn't necessarily mean that TikTok's not hitting for you. So the whole point of making social media is to make some good content that you can... S I mean, if you want to do it for fun, do it for fun. But everybody that's in this program is aiming to make money, you know? So... Make social media, make it good, make it like a job and become obsessed with it. Like most of the videos I watch or listen to have to do with just making better content in any way, in any form. And that's how you guys are going to excel quickly, you know, um, just taking it serious like a job. And I think you'll get a lot of value if you keep showing up to class and you keep a fire underneath your ass, you know, um, I, you know, it's just, that's, that's the most important thing. Um, so yeah, I, I think if you guys need to study funnel systems, basically you need to come up with some kind of product too. Like this is for the guys that, you know, if you feel like it's, it's not doing you any good. Like if, if you're impatient, you know, then you need to, you need to start learning about how to use attention and, uh, monetizing attention, which is outside of making money because if it was up to me, I'm not focused on necessarily getting a bunch of money through ad revenue. Like all my pages are monetized and that took me, so I've been with Cali since 2020 consistently. So I moved out to LA in 2020 and I had a Facebook page that had less than a thousand followers. My, I think my, I maybe had like, six or seven thousand on instagram and then tiktok i didn't have and then face and then what youtube had maybe a couple thousand but i've been on youtube for 13 years like shooting music videos i would just throw music videos on my youtube but go working with cali like directly like producing his content not only did i get good at making content for a youtuber like i learned how to make content how to make successful content and then over time, my shit got monetized because I just used the principles of making good content and eventually you're gonna make videos that go viral and hit. Um, like for me, Instagram, I'll upload a, a video for Instagram and it won't go viral for maybe three weeks. Like I'll upload a video, it'll, ha it'll sit at like seven, 8,000, maybe 10,000 views and then one day, three weeks later, it goes viral. Like literally, you'll just watch it. I'll watch it, it'll have like 10,000 views, 20,000 view increase, 50,000 view increase. And I'm just like, there's there's nothing, there's no logical reason that that 
happened besides the network decided to launch it off. So I know we say it a lot, but going viral will get you a lot of attention. And then what you do with that is intention, attention is important. So when you have an when you have a system where you have like a product that you're selling or a coaching course you want to tr train people or you have you have a website or a dealership or anything you have a place to direct all that attention cuz you're getting that attention and then you have to capitalize on the attention while it's there so having your website built so monetizing that stuff so anytime that my stuff goes viral, I just go look at my Amazon store and the sales go up because it, cause, uh, cause I have a link tree. And if you guys don't know what a link tree is, it's basically just linktree.com or just Google it. It's just a place to put all your links together for all your pages. So I have uh, a link to the course, a link to my Amazon store and a link to all my social media. So these, the back end is super important and like, we have an elite program where we put together your guys' back end. Like, we actually do it. We shoot videos with you guys. Because, I mean, unless you're really hyper-focused on it or you're around somebody every day that's, like, barking in your ear about, dude, why are you not doing this? Uh, like, you might not do it or you may not have your back end set up. So your back end is going to help you uh, really take full advantage of the following and the followers you get. Because there's no reason that Cali won't, take your content if it's good and share it and you won't get and you'll get viewers like if you got it like if he you got to think if you send him a video an Instagram video like if he's going to post it on his Instagram story bro if your first 3 seconds aren't in in focus a good shot like lit up well using a visual and audio hook something that's going to the first 3 words that come out of your mouth better capture somebody's attention the video better look good or have some purpose to it, then why are they gonna sit there and watch it? Then you're like, you're getting traffic, you're getting views on it, man. So like, you're, you're gonna give yourself a better chance to make money if you just take care of these little things, man. And I, I know we're throwing a lot of stuff at you, but it's just really important. And I just want you guys to know that there, there are other ways to make money. To show you guys for all the new guys can we pull up mm -hmm. uh youtube because i'm gonna go through so. all of them and show them how the shares work there you go. so bam i'm gonna show y'all how the shares go so we on my facebook so when you guys send me an instagram it's better for those that know a lot of you don't know it's better to send me your instagram post because when you send me your instagram post and by the way, you guys don't have to send me a Facebook if you send me an Instagram because my Instagram goes to my Facebook. All right? So this is what happens. When you send me your Instagram post, let me show you what happens. That's genius. There it come. Uh, what the hell going on? Let me see some of you. Let's refresh it, maybe. Mm. Here we go. Bam. It comes over here, guys. Can I show them? It won't. Use? Yeah, right here. Are you signed into that account? Yeah. So right here, this is where it comes on my YouTube with 7.2 million. You get the 1.2 million on Instagram, then you get this over here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me move this banner down here. Yeah. Okay. No, that ain't doing shit. Okay. So yeah, all y'all posts come over here when you send me your Instagram. See that? This is all shares. Bam, right? So you get those. <laughs> then you go to uh, my IG. And you come here. And you got all these shares. So here. So you're reaching 8 million people. Oh, and they show how many views down there. 1,600. 17, that's me, fellas. That's your brother, 1700. So, yeah, always send me your IG post. Uh, then, YouTube, you go to my community. Everybody, oh, where my YouTube? Did you share my YouTube video? Oh, yes, yeah, in the community. 
right here. Look at all these shares. Hour ago, hour ago, hour ago, hour ago, hour ago, two hours ago, two hours ago. This is what I'm doing all day. Sharing content. Man, they got to turn up them thumbnails, bro. Oh, yeah, thumbnails. Y'all got to turn them fucking thumbnails They're, up, no, bro. Nobody want to invest in bro, this Bro, that stuff. shit is just not working, bro. That ain't going to work, bro. No. Y'all got to turn up them thumbnails, bro. Shitty. They don't listen. You don't. guys, like, don't understand that you are fucking yourself by not getting good thumbnails. Well. You you think you think it's good? You think the title's good? It's fucking whack, bro. Yeah, they own a billion dollar, <laughs> multi billion here, dollar company, and they think they just go pop off with some trash. Bro, fuck no, dude. <laughs> Do you understand? I spend hours a day making fucking thumbnails. You think you go compete with this years, banner, bro, like, this profile picture? These get it look at these thumbnails, together, bro. Like, bro, I, I wouldn't even. So I was just telling Miles earlier. I wouldn't even came on the internet if I wouldn't go come. Like, if I, right now, say Kali Muscle just learned about YouTube. I'm a, I'm a fucking narcissist. I'm, I'm anal. I, I gotta be dressed the nicest. I gotta look the, if I came on YouTube right now, I would come like this right here. Ain't no fucking way I would have came with some bullshit. How? This is a billion, pure. The Go beast, off. the beast, making two, three million a month off YouTube, and do you think you' about to come on here with some bullshit ass content and make some money? It ain't gonna happen. It just ain't gonna happen, bro. And me, I, you know, I consider myself. Uh, I should have about thirty million subscribers, but you know, because the powers that be and my. Rough around the edges, my color, yes, my color, because there's not no black top creator that's as big as PewDiePie and the Beast and all them. The highest you go get is what KSI probably. That's true. Um. So yeah. So a, a lot of factors are against me, but I fought through. You know what I mean? I live streamed. I, I was live streaming every day, posting videos every day. Like they ca they couldn't deny my hustle, and I'm nowhere near where I think I should be on this platform. But uh, it still gave me an opportunity to have a supplement company, clothing, books, you name it. So that's why we telling y'all you need something to utilize this as a promotion and advertisement for your big business, because we don't know when this shit go in. You know what I mean? Like, it get demonetized. And if it do get demonetized, you already be established where you can just use this as a platform to promote your business. Like I'm doing and like I've always done. Because for me, YouTube always been gas money, bro, and grocery, buddy. I never, the most I ever got on YouTube in a month was like 40,000. 40, 50,000 in a few months. But Facebook, I done made triple that for months. At a time. That's why I'm telling y'all. Y'all sleeping on Facebook, man. Mm -hmm. um, it's still my number one. It's what I make the most off of monthly. It's still Facebook. Um, but it all has this. Everything has this. Like right now for me. Bro, Instagram. I've been making up to $1,000 a day off Instagram doing promo stories. Some shit that I... Bandman Kevo doing it. And I'm like, man, ugh, I don't like asking people are doing people. Uh, fuck it. Let me try it. What I got to lose? Been the best thing I ever did on Instagram. <laughs> it's like if you don't. Diversifying your, your income. Yeah. If you don't, you know, if you scared to cross that. It's like what y'all got to lose? That's my question. What the fuck you got to lose? time i don't give a oh, that's the best at that well yeah, exactly like what y'all scared of y'all grown ass men did your, did your nuts drop like what what you who are you scared of what you scared of like fuck these <laughs> trolls man like if you can't handle comments turn them off like me i just turned my comments off instagram and the reason being 
I'm doing big work with big companies, doctors, and these businesses because that's what we migrating into is business to business. And I don't want businesses to go on a video I do for them and see this rhetoric, this demonic stuff, uh, hateful stuff. You know what I mean? I don't care. I, I love uh, shit talking and the jokes and the uh, trolling. I'm the troll master. I've been on YouTube longer than anybody I know. Um, so I love it. But, uh, you know, I just want to be considerate of people I work with. And I don't want somebody negative comment to rub off on other people, which it has this past week. That's why I did that. Um, so, yeah. But, you know, if you scared of comments, you scared of ridicule, all that, internet ain't for you. Simple as that. Let's go. Everybody, man, bro, if y'all read the shit I get, like, you'll get nauseated. You, you, you won't. we walk by every day and it'd be them motherfuckers on there so you gotta have thick skin tough skin uh you guys got an advantage in the game you got us like bro i just it just you guys don't know what you have until you lose it that's when you go realize it like a lot of guys that got out of the program getting zero views now just because they didn't want to invest uh, $24. <laughs> now they ain't getting no traction because they gave up in a month or a month or a, two months. Just when shit was about to start getting good. It was about to get in the algorithm. And, you know, and bro, I've been on this 16 years on YouTube. That shit been like some months good, some bad, some bad. And, you know, every all I say and to this day what I say. These motherfuckers, hey, they ain't gonna stop me. I'm a workhorse. <laughs> I don't care about that little chump change because guess what? I'm gonna sell a promo story. I'm a, uh, we gonna sell some shirts. We gonna start a program. We go, and that's how y'all gotta be. Yeah, gonna make a new offer. Well, yeah, this, this shit is fun, bro. I just feel, so the problem I know with you guys is this. I came in, wasn't no money at all. So it was pure fun. That's all it was. There wasn't no expectations. You guys are stressing yourself out and not having fun because you got expectations. You you seeing all these numbers. You seeing this money floating around. People making this and that on social media. So I just see it in all of you guys' eyes and faces. It's like y'all stressed. Because you want to get monetized. You want to start making ad revenue. And I don't see nobody having fun. And I was telling Miles that yesterday. It's like the internet now. Even the platforms. They making it to where mm -hmm. it's not cool to have fun. Mm -hmm. Like they making it like just a business. You know like. It's just not. I don't see nobody having fun. No. Nobody having fun. It's nothing like genuine and just... That's why I like TikTok. When it was, everybody used to complain about the dance shit. That's what it was initially. It was what? Bite Dance or something, yeah, right? I think the parent company's... Yeah, Dance Bite. Or yeah, Bite Dance Bite or whatever. So it was fun. Let me see. And now it's like people ridicule... Bite dance. Yeah, Bite Dance. Yeah, it's like nobody having fun, bro. That, that, and that's the reason I blew up. That's the reason Kali Muscle, Kali Muscle, I had fun and got ridiculed for having fun. You know what I mean? And uh, it's just sad, man. I, I just, I don't see it. I don't see people having fun no more. And that's what you guys got to, that's why I always ask people I call, what's your passion? Okay, your passion that, run with it. Have fun with it. You know what I mean? Don't overthink it um you gotta rant you guys gotta start ranting just whatever on your mind if you're in the car something on your mind fuck, pull out that goddamn camera ah, yeah, yeah, this was on my mind man i don't care you know I'm, rant 
It just, I know, you know, for some of y'all, it's going to be tough. But once you start, and once you start seeing them comments, <laughs> that'll fire you up. Look at everybody who talks shit online. If y'all know Charleston White, he went from a good uh, community activist, and he said his social media wasn't popping. So he said he just started like, fuck it, I'm about to switch it up and start acting a fool. Blew up. Bro, like good ass advice right there. <laughs> That's some good shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. You just gotta, you know, you gotta express it. And people love it, bro. Y'all think people despise even me. Like with the you know, comments, whatever, but people love they can come and talk shit on to me because I said something they don't like. And as they comment, it's getting me more in the algorithm. It's turning me viral. Like, I just did a video today. We like, oh, this is about to go viral. Me talking about toilet paper. To what the fuck this idiot talking about now? Toilet paper? What the hell wrong with this whack job? Bro, y'all got to. And like I say, if some of y'all for education, you want to teach real estate or whatever, that's fine. You don't have to act a donkey or whatever. You know, you teaching, you educating. But if you're doing that, you better have a program set in place where you could sell a funnel, sell a package, uh, you know what I mean? But, I, bro, I even look at the people I watch. Like I said, Myron Golden, Grant Cardone's, uh, Gary V's, high energy, controversial, look good, like they still talking a lot of shit real controversial all the people i watch cuz it's going to be a shit ton of people that disagree with their message or what they saying or how they saying it so you got to have energy let me say that whatever you do you got to be high energy you know and even if that's why i told quite a few of y'all if you got to take an acting class Cause y'all gotta loosen up, man. Nobody having fun. Take some shrooms or something, bro. Well, no, nobody having fun. And when you, bro, I look at the young crowd now on YouTube, like all these young guys that's coming up doing the car content, lifestyle. They turn. Y'all are not gonna be able to compete with them motherfuckers if you don't get turned. It's a whole new generation. I used to think I was turned. I, we was watching this dude today. Y'all probably seen him. I thought I was a good, I thought I was. Bones. <laughs> I had, dude, I got to give him kudos. Like he took my shit, like he 10 times my mug bags. He eating whole chicken heads. Ah, the bone and I'm like, God damn. I see why he he stupid viral on all platforms except YouTube, cause they you know they they over there they eating their asparagus and broccoli, so they don't want to see no food and stuff. But yeah, man, uh, that's the type of people y'all coming up against, man. And uh, you know if you don't bring that energy and all that, it's just you ain't gonna move you ain't gonna move the needle, man. So we gonna open it up right now. For questions, concerns, uh, whatever is on y'all mind, let us know. We listening. Anybody, anybody? Hey, I'm trying to get one of them thumbnails, man, for real, though. Right on Fiber. I sent, we'll put the link, oh, the link is in, uh, the group? Yeah, we'll put the link again in the group. Everything y'all need to know is in the group. We got old videos. Uh, we got links to people who do banners, thumbnails. We, you know, everything is there for y'all. Bro, I, oh, I want to say this. Guess what, guys? You're going to have to spend some money. <laughs> You're going to have to spend some money. On the camera, iPhone 15 Pro. Uh, that's a must. Yeah, you dude. you need a fucking tripod. This only costs 14, 15 bucks. You got to pay somebody like me. Even we so fucking busy. I got a kid channel, my twins channel. We outsource for that. I, I paid abroad in Pakistan 40 bucks to edit the video. She done in a day. 
Like, bro, it's going to cost. You, you ain't. The Mr. Beast spending $45 million on a video. You think you go come in and not have to pay no money? This nigga spending four, five million on a video. And he don't even know if he gonna make it back. Hmm. This shit is serious, boy. <laughs> you, what you, this ain't no free money. It ain't no free. Even if you play the lottery, you gotta spend for the lottery ticket. It's like everybody, I don't know, man. People think you go get it for free. You ain't. You got to invest in yourself. Bro, so for when me and him met 2014, all my YouTube money went to him and other videographers. All my, every dime went to my videographers. And I was getting money uh, from supplements and merchandise and acting. I was doing commercials. But all my YouTube money, which at that time I was making about four or five grand a month on YouTube, and it was all going to all my videographers. And I didn't care. Right? It just what had to happen. All all the youngsters, all these youngsters is buying cars on YouTube, doing spending bread. We was spending stupid bread when we was doing the car shit and the lifestyle. Well, I paid uh, that dude, uh, Shicey J, in a matter of four or five months, like a quarter million to work on my cars. <laughs> so you, you better start stacking. Yeah, hey, like I tell y'all, the people think I'd be <laughs> joking. Stop eating. Use that money you buying all that fucked up food with and spend that on invested in yourself. All right, as a, as a beginner, how much money? I started off top of the food chain. Um, the guy who did my documentary, a rash did monster, the Collie muscle story documentary that made that shit look like a movie. And that's all I, I, he made that into a movie. I said, that's the only quality and style I can have. By any means, to keep that look up, I got to pay. It's just life, bro. If you're in MMA, guess what? You got to pay for your training. If you're in boxing, you got to pay for your training. I'm paying for my kid, daughter to go to fucking dance school. She's four years old. What you, what you, you thought you were just about to hop on here and not have to pay nothing? Ain't going to happen. So I didn't make money for... Let's see, I've been on there 16 years, maybe 10 years. Everything was fed back into the machine. I didn't start making money until really me and him got back together, uh, what, four years ago? Mm -hmm. Before then, I was just feeding everything back into the machine. But I had other hustles. That's why we telling y'all, uh, I had the supplements, I had the merchandise. And I had a book I wrote. So I had other sources of income. So yeah, man. That, and that's everything in life. Anything you do in life, you got to invest. If you start a business, if, you, uh, if you're a real estate agent, you got to pay to go to school. If you, whatever, you got to pay, bro. If you buy, oh, bodybuilding, nigga. I, <laughs> I went to my tax lady. She like, where did this quarter 250,000 go? I said, well, ma'am, I did six bodybuilding shows, paying for roids and all that shit, hella food, traveling. You got to, man, she said, you need to quit that. <laughs> That's what I did. But, uh, yeah, man, got to spend. So you figured where y'all at, where most of you guys at, you're not even, all y'all trying, y'all trying to get by by doing shorts and reels. And if it ain't viral, you wasting your time. You're not even putting thumbnails on them. You know, right now it's a high quality of reels. If you go look at my Instagram and his Instagram, that's the highest level of reels right now. And we paying $20 per reel. We outsource most of them. Uh, well, 
Yeah, quite a bit of them. <laughs> but but truthfully, it's the ones that we do that do the best. I I pay a guy in Pakistan to do some reels for me, but they don't hit like when I do them. Like they they just it just just because it's flashy and it's got thing doesn't mean shit, bro. That shit don't mean shit. Stop thinking that you gotta overthink this. That like. When, so I come from like a music video and film making background. So it's like I came in with like really precise controls and shit. And he's like, this is in 2020. He's like, uh, basically unlearn everything that you learn. Go ahead, unlearn it. Just forget it. Because a lot of you guys got shitty programming about what you need to do to make social media. You think you know how to do it right. But that's why you're here is because like you got to unlearn what the hell you learn. So... I shot on iPhone and ZV1 and cameras that, that you should see my comments because I make camera shit. Oh my God. Why would you just shoot on an iPhone? Just get a DSLR. And they don't understand the depth of knowledge that I have about content. They don't understand how deep it fucking goes. I'm like, because you don't fucking need a DSLR because you need your iPhone. Like, you need to unlearn how how to make content or like there. If you forget some things, like it's it's not the things that you don't know. It's the things that you think you know that are actually holding you back in a way. And I'm not just trying to be some like. You can just pull out your phone and make like a simple ass video. And if you stop blocking yourself of like um, like what you think needs to be right, or you come out of your shell. So you're in your shell because you're not being a kid. Like I know it's the same kind of like psychology, but. If you'd act like a kid and be more jovial, you'd probably make some better content because you're not like restricting yourself on like what you say and things like that. So there's a, there's a lot of, I had to unlearn some things about filmmaking to actually make better content. Like what's acceptable, what I can get away with, um, because it doesn't work the same way as uh, where I came from. Yeah. And that, that's what you guys... You really got to tap into yourself. Even if you had to, I was saying last week, because he told me he went on a hike. You got to find a space where it makes you happy and free. You know what I mean? Um, I just feel a lot of you guys are restricted. You know what I mean? It just, I don't, I don't, yeah. I, I just feel a lot of you guys restricted. I don't see the happiness and the, uh, true ambition in your videos you know I, I don't read that from you guys like me when you see i watch i'm my best entertainer i watch my videos and i'm like i make myself happy <laughs> watching my own videos you know what i mean like i'm in there with the toilet paper throwing it and just carefree like a bro and i come from like i was I called a guy today. I told him I was a true introvert, antisocial hitman killer. Didn't laugh, didn't smile, nothing. Militant till I was 34 years old. And I learned in order to get wealthy and rich, you have to talk a lot. You got to smile. I remember I was a stripper and I remember this show. It changed my life, right? Perspective on life. I was stripping. I'm in there mean mugging while I'm stripping for the bras, right? And a, a young lady was like, if you smiled more, you would get a whole lot more money. <laughs> and I took that to heart. You know what I mean? And uh, and I went on this path of breaking out of that shell because my mother damaged me because I was a class clown as a kid. And she finally, I was getting suspended all the time. She said, if you shut your mouth, you won't get in so much trouble. So I took that to heart, got quiet, and everybody started fearing me. And so I started feeling good from that fear of people fearing me. And uh, it just, I went through this trajectory of life of unlearning that ghetto hood shit of not smiling, being thinking I had to be hardcore all the time. And once I got to LA and I saw to get the money, you gotta be, uh, what in Hollywood is you gotta be likable and easy to work with. And that's the key. Even with social media, 
You got to be likable and easy. Not by everybody, but people got to like you. You know what I mean? And and they won't like you if they don't know who to like because you ain't talking. <laughs> so that's just the key, man. Y'all got to, even if you got talking in the mirror, just getting in the habit of it. Because I'm the same way. I'm... I'm getting ready to be a top motivational speaker, so even me, I, I'm talking more now. I like, I'm calling everybody. I'm on the phone. I used to hate talking on the phone. Uh, bro, like, to br talk on the phone? Now, I love it because I know that's the next level I have to get to. Uh, and yeah, I'm talking more than I have. I called more people in this last five months of this program then I probably have, well, no, ain't no probably. I talked to more people in this last five months calling people for the program than I have in my entire life time plus 10 years. I called over 4,000 people. How many of y'all didn't talk to that many people? I know I hadn't. So, um, yeah, so it's about getting your chops up, uh, watching videos of people you like that talk a lot. Um, you just... You got to get into it, man, because it's a lot of money to be made. And um, y'all can do it, man. Everybody in here could do it because y'all got me to help you do it. And, you know, you'll get better at it the more content you do, man. Like, yeah. you're just going to get better at it if you, you know, another thing that I noticed, uh, he has like a schedule. Like he was saying today, like. So he's releasing one video every week for his kids channel, okay? And he's like, oh, I'm, I'm doing it at Saturday. And he's getting pissed if it's not done by Saturday. Every Sunday at 8 a.m., I'm dropping a video. And you need to be pissed off if you're not making it happen. I got a video dropping tomorrow because I'm making it fucking happen, you know? And if you guys just stick to that schedule... You'll learn to get better at your videos. You know, you'll you'll start to figure out where you can loosen up at different things, um, like what ways you can do things and do it better. And you'll actually get some haptic feedback. You'll get some feedback from uh, the markets because Callie's going to share your video, and um, people are going to comment on it and see it, and I'm going to see it. Like especially if you guys, uh, you know, if you guys signed up and you didn't get the email, check your spam folder. Uh, from Cali, but join the Facebook group and just post your YouTube video in there. I love seeing when people post their YouTube yeah. videos in there. That's like the best way for me to see your video. I'm like, oh shit, somebody's new video. I want to go check that out. And then, uh, you know, from there, it's, you know, I'm, I'm locked in and everybody else in the video can see it too. So we can hold ourselves accountable. And that's why it's so crucial to have an iPhone 15 Pro, bro. You could just whip it out if you're in the grocery store. Yeah. If you in your car driving, some come on your mind. If you when you eating, like all of this shit is ways you can make money, bro, and blow up your social media, build a cult following. People just I I'm it just it's wild because what I'm seeing is women are more hungry than men. On these social media platforms, when you go to Twitch, it's the women that took over. When you on Facebook, all these busted women, and no offense to no women if they in here, but these busted women, they just wake up. They got their phone on live streaming. I don't see never one of y'all live streaming. It's like y'all scared. That's the quickest way you'll get monetized. Today. Yeah. Quickest way to get monetized and to blow up. Just wake up, you walking, you in your car, whatever, talking shit, just whatever's on your mind. Like, these women, man, they, they taking over. Dudes are just, and that and they the ones who got, you know, most women uh, got to get made up. And uh, nowadays, they don't give a damn. They waking up straight out of bed with sleep in their eyes with the live stream on. Yeah, we, yeah, we have one of our members... Um... Is it Shamika? Mm -hmm. Is that her name? Oh, yeah. She, these, I think they're out of Texas, but there was an influx of women that joined our program at one period of time that uh, are out of Texas, and they all learned off each other. They all figured out this game. They figured out this, like, little hustle where they basically just go live. 
kids yelling, cooking up stuff, just got the iPhone plugged up, just recording, going live, getting monetized hella quick, hella quick on Facebook. And it just like built a cult following. Like for coming from our perspective, I'm like, wow, that is yeah. some content right there. <laughs> like I didn't even think you could make content like that. It, it, that's what blew my mind about it. Now, I don't know how good it work on all the other platforms, but I'll tell you what, that shit works on Facebook. Yeah. Just propping up that camera and just doing doing stuff. And, you know, YouTube's got a, a vertical live now. That feeds you in like a different system on YouTube that makes you go viral. So you can record horizontally, but if you do it vertically, like through your phone, I don't know, they plug you in the algorithm. Yeah. So, yeah, man, it's just... So many ways, thumbnail, banners, thumbnails, mandatory. If your banner is trashy and they go think you just playing, bro. They go think you a troll just made a YouTube or Facebook or whatever because you ain't taking no pride in your platform. You know what I mean? That's And I say this week in, week out, and people still not taking action on it. If your banner don't look so similar to mine, close to mine, or better than mine, your shit whack. Simple as that. If you ain't got no profile picture with a popping background where you standing out, your shit whack. If you're, uh, that's all I'm saying. When you, when we send you this link, which is gonna be on our Facebook uh, group page. And when you send it to that guy on fire and say, I want something similar to Kali Muscles. That's all you got to say. 30, 40 bucks, bro. Like, it ain't no reason for y'all to pop, man. Because I'm sharing all these, you know, I'm sharing on YouTube everywhere. And when people click on your shit, like, oh, this shit. Why Kali sharing this? And, oh, they must be in this program. Like, they ain't going to come back. If your shit ain't put together well. I can share it all day long, bro. If your shit ain't put together well, they ain't coming back. They ain't gonna hit subscribe or follow. So, yeah, man, that, that's, you know, that's about all I got to say. Y anybody got any questions, comments? Express yourself. Somebody talk to me. Hello. So, hello there. I got, I got a question. There I, she I is. That's what you're talking about. Yes. Yeah, what do I do? Oh, you doing the right thing. You hustling. You got the most Facebook followers out of all of them. Mm -mm, I'm trying. God what you, what you, God. what you got? Sixty thousand now? Yeah. Woo! Blowing y'all, <laughs> blowing y'all out the water, bro. I'm uh, glad I be working at it. I go to school and be trying to get on Facebook too. Look at that. Time. Look at that. Damn. Look at that. Uh, Eat. Uh, I go to school. I work at a daycare. Dang. And I be trying to get it in. Well, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And you, is it wrong? It, would, wouldn't it be wrong for me to go on Facebook? I got a daughter that's on drugs. I'm fitting them off. I got to talk about it. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> say it again, bro. <laughs> huh? I'm fitting them back in a few minutes. You going to do what in a few minutes? Uh, I got to go live on in a few minutes. Look that's at that. That's our that's our live stream. You got to let me know when you're going live. So I can I, I can either you hop in. Me. I can hop in there or I can share it. Uh, you, you sent me something to hit the buttons. The buttons won't work. Uh, what button? Text that shit to me. To me. Um, Text uh -huh. it to the number you got. Didn't you get that number? Yeah, I got the name, and you said that's why I need to send my lines at Shayla. Well, you ain't been sitting there. What's you up, Miss Fitch, baby? Won't work while we try to send it. The link? Nah. To the send it to that phone number. All right. Well, I'm going to yeah. the phone because the link won't open. How many subs you got now? How many subscribers? Um, How many I got three subs. Uh, four. No, on your Facebook. How many followers you got over there? Oh, I got followers. You got about. Ain't it 60,000? No, you got about. I would, I would say more than 260K followers. Woo! Mm -hmm. All right. 
And we did one video. It went way, way by. What was it? Three million? <laughs> yeah, the one me and you were arguing in the garage. And then the <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. yeah. You came to the door Turn. like your man was in here. And oh, then... Yeah, we went real bad on that. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. <laughs> That's <laughs> that inspiration now, right there. Yeah. We just shot that video out there. Look at that. <laughs> well, you got to do it. Look at her. There she is. Yeah. Signing yeah. with Shakim. Man. Yeah, Shakim. Yeah. Yeah. Signing with Shakim. Yeah, you know, Woo, she, she got 53K so over there. there. 53K over there, man. Doing it, man. Y'all better step it up, man. Shakima, tell him to step it up, man. Step it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. 53K over there, man. And all Damn. she do is like live stream. Well, how many times a day you live stream? I'll probably go. Sometimes I might go five, six times a day. Jeez. Damn. Work. I might go five. I might go five, six times. Sometimes I might go three times a day. If I got a heavy homework day, <laughs> I go to bed three times. But when I go, I go. Hungry. That's what I'm talking about. I love that. I'm coming to California in September. Shit, let's collab. We'll do something. All right. What you want to do? I don't know. We, we'll think of something by September. Hell yeah. i get you in that gym or something. All right, I probably need to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you in that gym, take you uh, to the farmer's market with me. <laughs> All right. Hell yeah. All right. Shit. All right, sweetie. Anybody else got anything to say? Questions? That's motivation right there, man. We needed that. That pumped me up. Hell yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, well, man, y'all have a blessed weekend. I had a question. Oh, what's up, question. sweetie? Hey, um, Kylie, question. Um, on your um link on Facebook, you said that you had a link for me to get my video edited because I do my video. Yeah. I have two videos actually, but both of them is 47 minutes, and I didn't want to just put them out there yet because I didn't edit them. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we we I got somebody that can edit. I give her to my uh, what you call it? The one who do the kids video. Well, yeah, she oh, have it I done like in a day or so. Well, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put the link up in there. They get that shit. Done. Yeah, I need that link. Oh right. yeah. Well, yeah, we'll post it all in there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they easy to find on uh. So what I try to do? Well, what I do on Fiverr is, I have multiple people. You know, somebody too slow, I go to that one and. So it's just a wide range of people for whatever you need on Fiverr. That's the hack, man. To where y'all don't have to overwork yourself and you can delegate, you know, to somebody else. And then you can work the prices because they, you know, they like black people in the hood going to the swap meet. They go try to nickel and dunk. Give me 40. And you tell the ass, no, I'm giving you 20. And they go take it. <laughs> <laughs> they, in, they, they in Pakistan and where else we get Pakistan, Pakistan and the, Philippines got yeah Philippines yeah that's what those two countries they like running it on fiber. Mm -hmm. yeah. Philippines for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So well, yeah. Good work. They did my banner. Huh? Same. They do good work. They did my banner. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You see mine? Yeah. Shit, they did mine too. Yes, sir. Well, well, man. Much love to everybody. Send me if uh, hopefully everybody got the number. Um, shout out to everybody that's watching on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter. Uh, yeah, I love you guys. Uh, if you want to go to the sign up to this program, go to KaliMuscle.com, and I'll personally call you and get.